How are you guys doing today? We're going to go ahead and check out this 83911 SC. Getting ready to put the motor in. We're going to go ahead and check the oil lines, oil thermostat. Lines going to the front and back of the car, to the front cooler. Let's go ahead and check them out. Right here you have the main oil line. You can take this and twist it at this crimp right here. This crimp is loose. The new motor, a lot of crankcase pressure, it'll hit it, it'll start leaking. It's already, you can tell it's been leaking already. This is going to leak worse. Right here, same thing. These two lines are bad, okay? Let me check this main line. It's kind of hard, like a rock. It should have a little bit of a give. Like you can tell right here, if I twist this, she's giving up, but there's no, there's not much flex. Problem with this, in, outside may look fine. Inside, it can get hard and chippy and start breaking away, which goes right in the oil pumps. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and move our way. These two, this line comes back. This line goes forward. Let's move our way over here. These lines come up. Got another crimp. You can already see the oil. The color change, this is leaking. The rust doesn't really mean nothing, that's just visual. We come right here to the oil thermostat. Check this for leaks. One word of warning, when you try to pull these off of this, of this much corrosion, usually pulls the metal threads, will pull the aluminum threads right out. So this is usually, we're gonna try to heat, the, heat this, get these off gently to not damage this little puppy. But these two are junk anyway, we know they're leaking. We're gonna try to save these and save this mainly. These, we have an issue, I'm going to show you this right here. We're going to go and move forward, because these two lines go to the front cooler, all the way up, turn around and come back. So work our way, these come right here, and a big problem that these have is right there. If you look right below the jack hole, you can see these are smashed. What happens, somebody put a floor jack right underneath this, lifted it up, squishing these lines. So right now, when this oil pressure hits, it usually won't flow through freely at all. So let's come back over here. These lines move forward, come down, you got your front and return. Now right here, we got another smash. Again, at the corner of the car, right here, somebody's put a floor jack right there. You can even see the roundness of the floor jack and smash this line. This one smashed that's in here. There's two lines, if you can barely see, there's one more in here. This is the one going forward, it's coming back. Forward one is smashed at the back as we saw previously. This one can return and smash too, so both lines are damaged. We're going to switch over here and look at, we have two more little baby lines. These are really corroded, so those are going to have a hard time getting off. Actually, these two are already rusted. Now, this customer changed this to an aftermarket cooler and it's been strapped. But that's our online checkout. Thank you. 